Good afternoon. Good morning. This is Steve from Barcode Shack, uh, showing you a little bit about the mobile application for Asset Cloud by Wasp. I'm doing this demonstration on a Wasp DR5 mobile computer with an integrated uh, barcode scanner. Uh, you can also run the app on a smartphone, either Android or iOS or other mobile app, uh, mobile devices. Uh, so I'm on the login page of the mobile application. Obviously, I've stored my credentials, so I'm just going to hit login. And then you're going to see the uh, landing page. Uh, so you can the, uh, if you hit the magnifying glass. That will give you a list of assets with uh, uh, a photograph if you enable that feature. And you can just scroll through it if you want. Or you can search by barcode tag. I'm going to scan a barcode tag here. And there's the item I scanned. I can tap it to verify. You can also scan by, you can enter a serial number, a description, an asset type, a site, a location, or an assignee. That's someone who an item has been checked out to. So I'm going to select this uh, uh, light that's already been checked out. So that would tell me, well, geez, Steve, you really can't check that out to a person. I could go ahead and check it out. Uh, and let's see what happens if I try to do that. So there it is. And I'm gonna check it out to an employee. Uh, and I'm gonna check it out to Mike. And you can determine that you can have a standard checkout link, which is uh, attached to that particular asset, or you can have no due date for an asset that's kind of going to be out there, or you can put a custom date in, which I'm going to do here. I'm just going to um, uh, uh, select the date. Oops, I went to the time, but that's okay. We'll just make it for uh, by close of business. PM is selected and the date uh, we're going to make, uh, let's make it next week. And I'm set. So you're good. You can also move it from its current location to a different location, a, a site and a location. You don't have to though. And now let's see what happens when I hit the checkout button. And there's your summary. And it's going to be able to check it out. So what it's set up now that you do not have to check in an asset to check it out again, or you that's called force checkout. You can turn that off and you cannot check out an asset until it's checked in. You can also require the uh, acquire the um, assigning signature. In this case, it's set up as an option. You can also have it as mandatory or required, or you can have it as not. So I'm gonna just hit save. It's gonna rotate the screen so I can sign. And I just have to use my fingertip and I hit save. And that is recorded in the database. And that checkout is finished. And it's as simple as that. Uh, so if you wanted to check it in, you just hit the check in button, scan the barcode. Uh, and there it is. And if you notice, it automatically, when I checked it out, we have our system set up. So it automatically uh, shows you where it was uh, uh, from. So I'm gonna check it in now. Uh, everything is there. Uh, I'm gonna check it in though to me. Uh, no, you have to check it out to get, I'm sorry, the employee. I just hit check in and it's done. And there's the summary. You can actually print that out if you have your mobile device hooked up to a wireless printer, uh, depending on the connectivity of your mobile device. And we're all done. And we can go on to our next item. You can also move an asset from one location to its site and location to another. Uh, you can end of life it meaning dispose, meaning it's, it's stolen, it's broken, it's end of its, its service life is over with. Um, you can perform audits on the mobile device. 
uh, and you can um, uh, also do a funding audit. Typically, that's for more like the uh, municipal field and governmental field. You can perform a quick maintenance on the item, uh, or create a new quick maintenance. Or we have a feature called work order that you can perform a work order. The work order has to be created using the web portal. These are the settings. So when you when I, before I start a session, I always download the latest copy of the uh, database from the cloud. I have it set up for automatic upload. So as I do the transactions, it's uploading them to the database. Another nice feature of the software is that this mobile device can operate in the absence of a connection to the internet. So if you, there's no cell signal and there's no wi uh, Wi-Fi, it will store all the transactions you do. And as soon as it require, acquires connectivity to the internet, it will upload the data. And these are some of the settings in the mobile device, which I showed you. Uh, you can, can set it up so it just looks at certain sites. Uh, look at crash list. This is where you're going to connect it to a printer. And that's just a quick look at the mobile application for Asset Cloud by WASP. Thanks very much.